Good morning everyone, welcome back to today's video. Unfortunately, I lost the audio to this video when I first recorded it, so I'm recording this audio after the fact, so if anything's wrong like that, I do apologize, it has been a crazy week. Anyway, today we are checking out Force Loading Props. Um, this allows you to load the vanilla and casino props that aren't in 5M by default. It really does nothing by itself, but there's a lot of resources which use things like this and you need these props to use them. A lot of Y maps do it, a lot of the casino add-ons do it, so this just helps you load all of those props for those resources when you actually need them. Um, so this includes like art props, disposable props, collectible props, all the props that are needed for certain resources will be here including hospitals and all that good stuff. So there's a few things we're going to do with this. It's a little bit different than installing a normal resource just due to the amount of things you have to install. But all you have to do is go ahead and click download vanilla props and download casino props from the page. It will take you to a mega link and you're just going to go ahead and download both of these. These may take a little bit of time just based on how big the files are are there a few megabytes compared to the normal smaller files on 5M because they're actually loading all those prop files. Um, so I'm going to let these download um, and then we're just going to hop straight back into it once it has downloaded a little bit more. All right, so now that the file has downloaded, we have both of our zip files or RAR files open here in WinRAR. Um, inside of these, you can see they are have all the prop files. So rather than installing just this folder, we actually have to do something a little bit different. So inside of our resources folder, what we're gonna do is you can see the examples up there at the top where it's like uh, bracket system bracket. We're gonna make a folder kind of like that because you can see when I click on that, it has the folders inside of it. So this is kind of what we're going to do. So we're gonna go back to the resources folder and we're gonna right click and rename a or create a new folder and I'm just going to name it bracket props uh, bracket. The reason why I'm doing this is you can kind of name this whatever you want and what you're going to do is you're going to drag every single one of the files from inside of your folder into that folder. Um, so don't just drag the first folder, drag every single one of the props into that folder which is needed. And then you're going to go ahead and close out those uh, RAR files and you're going to go to your server data and then your server.cfg file. Um, that will be your main file for editing and adding resources. I'm going to edit it with Notepad++. If you're on Zap Hosting, you can use your web interface. If you're on TX Admin, it would be in your TX data folder. So once you are in here, we're actually going to take the little bit of the loading um, resources part from the resource page itself. You can see they provide you, luckily, a name of every single one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy every single one of the ones that they want you to go ahead and start here. And then you're just going to go ahead and paste this into your server.cfg right under ensure or start. Doesn't matter. You can see there's different ones here both work fine and you can see we just pasted in every single one of those props go ahead and save the file and then we're going to go ahead and start our server with the fx server.exe or your start.bat or just start your server on zap hosting if you're using it and as long as you see in console that it is actually loading up all of the different prompts this may take a few minutes just based on how many there are and the first time's always worse because it caches all these later on but you can see it is loading up all the props and as long as you don't get an error here or anything you are good to go other resources can now use these if they require. Um, if you have any problems with it, of course, reach out to the author on the resource page um, because they're going to be the best ones to be able to help you. So hopefully this did help you. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment for more. Let me know what else you want to see. I'm working on a DP uh, emotes um, type resource uh, tutorial soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And hopefully you hang out for uh, another video in two days. So thank you so much for watching.